Greetings. This is an earthquake watch for April 3 through to April 6. Seismic activities have stepped up the last 36 hours. I do expect this to continue. The current activity is mainly due to the influence of Saturn, astrologically speaking. I do expect this to continue and raise up another level when we have the influence of Jupiter. The KP index is showing some significant activities, not quite classed as a K5, which would indicate a geomagnetic storm, but K4s. And I do expect we may be receiving some seismic events early and at the end of this watch. We have seen a significant amount of coronal mass ejections over the last two to three days, and this has severely affected the Earth's magnetic field. The GOES X-ray flux monitor is showing minimal activities, and that would mean that we are conducive to some fairly large earthquakes in the coming days. We're now looking at the latest ACE telemetry. We get to have a look at solar wind levels, and we did see a significant rise in solar winds, although quite briefly, ranging from 350 km a second to 495. And this is a good indication that a new coronal hole speed stream has been received, and that would mean that a possible 6.7 plus magnitude earthquake is likely in the coming days. Now looking at Solon.info and the latest coronal hole information, we are given two coronal holes in the southern hemisphere that may be of interest during this watch. I am focusing on the latter or the second of the coronal holes for this watch and I will be plotting some areas now. Now using Solar Monitor and targeting the southern hemisphere and the 193 Angstrom, we get to see a significant coronal hole and it is moving fairly rapidly and I do feel that there is a potential event in this region. And this is sent at 16 to 18 degrees south latitude. There are a few ionospheric anomalies right now and they are centred in and around the region behind Taiwan moving towards India. Now I have centred a region and it just so happens that the opposite position on Earth using the antipodes map is the region above Chile, Peru and Bolivia. This is a fairly active seismic zone and I do feel that like there is a strong likelihood of an event in this region and I will be targeting these regions for this watch. My main area of watch would be 17 degrees south latitude and the most likely regions in play would be southern Peru, Tarapaca, Chile and also Potsi, Bolivia. These would be the main areas. Now Bolivia has been significantly affected by a swarm of smaller earthquakes and an extensive amount of landslides at the beginning of the year. So this is a fairly active region and I do feel that there is a strong possibility of an event during this watch in this area. The initial coronal hole in the southern hemisphere may be the area that caused the high solar wind spike yesterday. I do feel that there is a potential event 7 to 10 degrees south latitude also during this watch. I have targeted Chagos Archipelago region as the most likely area that may be affected by the initial coronal hole. There is a potential of a 6.5 magnitude earthquake in one of these regions and this could go as high up as the Carlsberg Ridge also. Or the next bet fit match would be the Solomon Sea or the Solomon Islands region. Now looking at the Northern Hemisphere with the 174 Angstrom with Solar Monitor, I am targeting a coronal hole that's situated 18 to 23 degrees north latitude. There are two main regions in the Northern Hemisphere that I will be keeping an eye on during this watch. That is the area of Taiwan. And the next area of concern will be the Mariana Islands as we have had some smallish events in the last few days that could indicate a possible foreshock of a larger earthquake. I do feel there is a potential of an event in one of these regions during this watch also. I did mention Saturn's influences at the start of the video and I will use SimSolar as a visual representation to show why. The Earth has moved through the major alignment of Sun and Saturn over the last few days and we have seen a stepping up in seismic activities although nothing too large. The Earth will be towards the end of this watch, will be moving through the most significant alignment between Jupiter and the Sun, and this could more than likely produce a 7 plus earthquake. However, I do feel that Saturn's influences may delay and perhaps allow this larger earthquake to occur, perhaps around April 7 to 11 time frame. Okay, that's my earthquake watch for today, April 2, 2011. I will leave my planetary alignment for April 7 link to this video for anyone who's interested. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.